Hi everyone, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I wanted to quickly throw in a quick intro to this video. If you are watching this right around the time that I uploaded this video, there will be a sale around 20th of November to December 1st. So within that time frame, make sure you rush to the description below, click on the links provided, and get your discount. Any other time of the year, if you're watching this later, I do have a discount code that is always there. It is jellyfish for $10 off on any purchase at vpfashion.com. Anyways, let's move on to the video. Um, this will be about VP Fashion tape and extensions. VP Fashion. Love the brand, love the extensions, love their adhesive now that I know that other adhesive sucks. Now flipping my hair around like this and putting it up in buns and things like that is something that I was never able to do with clip-ins, which is why I love my tape-ins so much. If you wanted to see the previous video where I installed the extensions that were teal, like this, I have that video right up here in the video tag bar thingy, and then it'll also be at the very end of this video in a little box that pops up. That was my very first time working with the VP Fashion Tape and Extensions, and this time, this is my second round, and this is kind of my full experience of the removal and the reinstallation process. And these were the ones that I ended up not using because my head is small and I didn't need all of them. Um, as you may see in the video, I tried three different removal methods. I tried real tape and spray that actually we use in the salon, um, and then the other two methods were conditioner on on one side of my head and coconut oil on the other side. I'm getting my extensions taken out so what I'm doing is trying out different methods. I'm gonna do our regular spray that we use in the salon, our just conditioner, and then coconut oil. Those are my three things I'm testing out and before that I recommend this all the time to just wet your hair and condition it. Ginny is gonna help me do it today. So let's take a look at my extensions one last time. Here they are. These ones are cut in half and then some of them are longer. There it is. So uh, that is, so I think that's about a solid half inch. Yeah, that's about this. Yeah, that's half an inch right there. Um, and it has been, as of tomorrow, exactly five weeks since I've had my hair in. You're supposed to go about six weeks, but I have to put a wig on for Halloween on Thursday. Wig is really big, and so my hair underneath will already be ten times bigger. And then I have to put on a mask and a hat and work in that. And if it's too much on my head, it's just going to all fall off. I'm going to be too hot. Anyways, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. What Jenny's doing is just putting some Moroccan oil moisturizing conditioner in my hair. Ooh, it's cold. The coconut oil on this side, the conditioner on this side, and the spray in the back. This is it's Jennifer flattering. mocking me. <laughs> it's fun. I want to be popular like you. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you what I've got here. I have unrefined virgin coconut oil. Coconut oil I'm going to use on my right side. The conditioner and oil is going to be for my left side. And then the back is just going to be the regular uh, twisted fringe removal spray. So before I actually end up removing these, I'm going to explain what my prediction is. I think that the coconut oil will do a slightly better job than the conditioner. And I think that the best thing that will work will be the Twisted Fringe Remover. The conditioner, I am just using Sebastian Drench Moisturizing Conditioner. Already I can feel this conditioner um, loosening the adhesive. These tapes just feel a little looser. And I'm dragging it through the ends since my extensions are really dry at this point. I haven't washed them in a while. Um, I need to do a good deep conditioner on them later on. And I'm actually going to be using the uh, 
thermal wig case from Absorber that they sent me. And you guys can see how awesome it works. Really get the product you're using into the extensions. So now I have this remover spray. I am going to spray it directly onto each of these. I keep dropping my towel. I will say right off the bat, this one actually kind of stings because it's a lot of alcohol. One of the other methods is 31% alcohol, I think, or 91% alcohol um, in a spray bottle with a little bit of water. But this is better than that. I don't want to just put straight alcohol in my hair because my hair is already really dry and fragile. So this is the one piece right here that is matted like crazy, tangled up in here. I actually have a close-up video I can show you now. Nasty. I kind of want to take this one out first. Already, this stuff is working really well. So with the process of me taking these out, I noticed that pretty much all the methods worked perfectly fine. The one thing was I feel like the spray worked the fastest without as much work being put into it. If you're looking for something that you actually have at home, you most likely already have extra virgin coconut oil at home or um, some kind of conditioner. I recommend like a really moisturizing conditioner. Either of those methods work perfectly as well. The part that I found the most difficult was actually removing the tape itself. So if you could see in these clips, I was removing the actual little adhesive strip off of the tape itself um, just so it's nice and clean and ready for a new set of tape to be applied. First you have to remove everything from your hair and then you take all the tape off of each individual extension piece. And then what I did next was I clarified the extensions. I shampooed them all out with a clarifying shampoo, washing them and putting them in sunlight as I wore them. They faded into a much paler version of this, so they, they faded to like a really pale teal color. Um, and then after clarifying that out, I used a little bit of lightener mixed with some um, shampoo and we call that in the hair industry a soap cap, but online, before I got into the industry, a lot of us called it a bleach bath, if you're familiar with that term. That basically just opens up the cuticle, removes a little bit of the color. Now I will say, if you can avoid this step, do it, because it made the extensions just not feel as wonderful. The extensions are still obviously in good condition, as you can see, I'm wearing them now and they're, they're fine, but I will say they're a little bit more difficult to detangle after going through at least one round of soap cap. Uh, there are other methods of removing color from hair, but basically almost every single method that you'll be able to get your hands on is some form of bleach. Um, and then all the other methods that are just more gentle that don't contain any kind of bleach just aren't that effective is what I have noticed. You can try whatever you want. Um, my method is always just going to be clarifying shampoo and last resort um, a little bit of lightener with 10 volume mixed with some uh, clarifying shampoo and lots of water. Okay, so after removing the color, it was all a super duper pale grayish color. Um, what I did was I took some of the dye that I used and let me show you a clip of me mixing that dye together. Hey guys, I am actually mixing up my mauve concoction. These are different forms of purpley pinks with some grays. These two are sort of just silver. My home mixed mauves, home mixed silvers, store bought pure mauves, store bought pure silvers. They are all in a Lunar Tides container and these two are actually made with mostly Lunar Tides. I think Arctic Fox is mixed in there, but not really anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some of my pure pigment.
the original mauve. This is my new mixture of mauve. And this is what it looks like in the jar. Okay, so as you could see, that was mostly um, the smoky mauve from Lunar Tides with a little bit of other things mixed in there. Mauve is actually one of the most difficult colors to mix. In fact, this is literally just like a smoky purple. I wouldn't even consider this mauve. I had to cut it with so much other color. Mauve is actually more pinky in my opinion. It's more like this color than this color like I made it a much cooler version of what it is um, and it still ended up being more vibrant than I wish it was like I think I would have loved this a little bit more smoky a little bit more gray I basically took a little bit of the color and I mixed that with some conditioner by absorber this is a conditioner meant specifically for hair pieces like wigs and extensions they ended up being a little bit like this color <laughs> A lot of them that got stuck in a gigantic knot and this was all my fault so they had bleach they had clarifying shampoo which both are extremely drying and rinsed it a bunch of times while still never detangling them they were in a giant knot like this let's call this a dip dye bath okay so this is the um, conditioner with hot water with color in it and I just let it marinade in the soup and then it took me two full days to just detangle half of it so a lot of the ones at the bottom are actually not the previous pack that I used they were the unopened pack that I had not yet colored at all um, and then the ones on top were the ones that I salvaged I was able to detangle some of these then I root shadowed them because as you guys can see I've been growing out my natural hair so I measured that out put them down on foils I used a toner from my salon so that I could match it as closely as possible to my hair some of them are a little bit darker than others for the most part they match up pretty well so that when you open up my hair you see these tape ends in here but you can barely see them at all compared to the other time around when you could see everything very very clearly that was an extension versus my natural hair because I had so much brown in my natural hair. Okay, so after doing the root shadow, I colored them over with the Lunar Tides Smoky Mauve concoction. I made sure I flipped them over, got them really really saturated because if you don't work really hard to get them saturated, there will definitely be spots. VP Fashion's extensions are always extremely full. Um, the hair is very dense, so you have to split it open as much as you can. That's why I do this dip dye process beforehand. Okay. So we've removed the extensions, we've removed the tape, we've clarified and removed the color, we have detangled them and treated them with a treatment by Absorber that then also added some color to the hair, we added the root shadow to the hair, and then we colored the extensions. Now it is time to reapply the tape. Okay, this is another thing that I learned while doing this. I do not like other extensions. I know that I have always been working with VP Fashion, but as a hairstylist, I also have gotten my hands on other brands of tape and extensions. VP Fashion hair is just like, it, it lasts longer, I'm able to wear it more rounds, and the biggest one that I have discovered through this whole experience within the past few weeks is that VP Fashion's adhesive for the actual tape in is so much better than any of the other adhesives that I have seen on other people. It's easier to remove. There was no clumps of goop in my hair when I was taking them out. My extensions never got goopy or slipped or fell out the first round that I had the VP Fashion extensions because the adhesive that was put on them from VP Fashion itself was the best that I'd ever had. So this round, I actually had one fallout twice. The first time it fell out before my vacation, I reapplied it, and then during vacation it fell out a second time. Um, all the other ones are okay, but some of them do have these little bits of corners just coming up if you do have tape-ins get the VP fashion replacement tapes because the ones that I got that were not VP fashion 
suck. I never felt like my extensions were slipping out when I had the VP Fashion tape-ins in the first time. The way you reapply the adhesive to these tape-ins is it's kind of like a little sticker sheet. Very carefully, with clean hands, pick it up with your nail, try not to get your finger on it at all, and just kind of lay it down. It's actually really easy to line it up perfectly. I reapplied the adhesive to all of them. I decided to use a Sharpie and I colored in on the back side that the adhesive wasn't on. That just prevented the adhesive from being as visible. But my hair is naturally dark, so I wanted to make sure they were dark enough so that when I move my hair, you can't see them. Like, seriously, I'm moving my hair before you would be able to see them, and this time, you can't. There was time I made sure not to wash my hair for the first 48 hours of getting them installed because I read on the website of VP Fashion basically says that if you wait longer before you wash your hair, the adhesive will just sit better, it'll have time to set onto your hair, and you'll be less likely to have pieces fall out. Now last time, I did have the VP Fashion adhesives I washed my hair the next day, and it was fine. I think VP Fashion Extension Adhesive is way better, but I still followed their rules. Okay, well I think that should be it for this video. I hope I covered everything that I wanted to cover. Love the brand, love the extensions, love their adhesive now that I know that other adhesive sucks. Um, but yeah, I'll give you guys a closer look at my extensions now that I have said everything that needs to be said. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments any questions you have about their tape-ins or tape-ins in general or the hair dye that I used. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you can, it really helps me out, I love likes. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and check out the little videos that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much, stay epic, bye! <laughs> cool. Now my YouTube channel knows that. <laughs> I can cut it out if you want. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. Guys, stop being serious. It's funny. Say hi. What's up, YouTube?